Okay, welcome to module four um, of the Internet Marketing Bootcamp. Today we'll be introducing you to the wonderful world of WordPress. Now WordPress is basically a publishing platform that allows you to set up blogs and websites that look really professional um, without the need to know about HTML programming or website design, etc. And there are literally hundreds of thousands of th free themes as well. So you can theme your website and it looks really professional. Plus there are widgets and plugins which uh, can do loads of whizzy things. And, and just basically it makes building websites or, or uh, building blogs an absolute doddle. It opens it up to everybody. No need for any design skills. No need for any programming skills. It's really easy and very easy to update, so which is perfect for um, adding lots of posts and updates, which you'll need to do if you're going to sort of want to rank well on, on Google. So um, it, it's marvellous. But rather than me just um, talk about it, the best way is to just show you it. So we'll crack on. And uh, basically what we'll be showing you is how to um, install WordPress onto your um, domain. So it... Um, registers under your uh, domain name and secondly how to set it up so by the end of this little module you'll have your little website up and running and um, and then you can start playing with it a bit so let's crack on and I'll show you how to install WordPress on your domain okay so you remember that we've um, checked that we've got the index of page so remember you put in the name of your uh, domain there and it should come up with this index of uh, and that's all groovy so what I've done now is I've logged on to my hosting account and here we have the sort of the C panel and what you're looking for there should be some sort of site building sections here are here and you're looking for Fantastico or WordPress now if you're on just host then you've got WordPress that's brilliant if not I'm not sure HostGator has a WordPress one but that's fine because Fantastico does it anyway and there should be um, it should be fairly straightforward they'll take you through it and it's very similar to what I'm about to show you so when you've logged on to your hosting account click on the WordPress logo uh, which you'll have if you've got um, just host and then here um, it's got new installation click new installation and then install domain so if you've got a lot of existing domains on there you need to search for it if it's your first one so if this is your first domain then that's fine you've, you've it will select itself but if you've got other domains that you've registered you find it so in this case it's bestworkoutvideos.com install in the directory well you leave that blank because then that means that what happens is that you're installing the website to appear as bestworkoutvideos.com if you wanted it to put it into a, a different file so it might be bestworkoutvideos.com hyphen blog then you put it in a directory called blog but if you leave it blank then it puts it in the right place now here the next stage need to access um, how you're going to access the uh, website from sort of behind the scenes as well you don't access it through the hosting panel here um, it has its own little access and most people will probably put um, admin is a common one um, but you put whatever you want as long as you remember it of course then uh, a nice password which I'll do there um, give yourself a nickname if you want um, it's up to you um, I can't think of anything right now so I'm not going to do it and then the email that you want this to go to so um, type out that uh, an email there I'll just put my the name of the site so this is how what the site will appear as when it when it's live so in this case we're going to call it um, best work out videos and a little description you don't have to worry about it um, too much because we're going to change a lot of this anyway but best work out videos 
brings you reviews on all the best workouts. Okay, something like that, workout. Okay, don't worry about too much, we're gonna change it. And then click install. And there we go, finish installation. It's telling you that um, you've chosen to install it on the main directory uh, of best videos, bestworkoutvideos.com there. And the URL will be that. So HTTP slash slash bestworkoutvideos.com. Um, now we're gonna change that slightly, but we'll come to that in a minute. I'm gonna put www dot in front of that because I just think that looks more professional. But don't worry about that at the moment. We just press finish installation and just wait for that. The internet's a bit slow at the moment. There we go. It'll tell you to remember the, um, the password and your admin name because uh, you're going to need that. And then you access it by here. HTTP, th this link here. Okay. But if we, I just want to go back to now to the index of page. Remember we put the index of. If I just refresh this page now, boom, there we are. Now, uh, WordPress has a default theme. This is the default theme, which looks very pretty. Um, and you can put your posts in and stuff and, and you'll see it. But you can see straight away that it, you know, it looks, you know, fine and you've installed, there you are, you have your own website your own you know installed on your domain and everything looks um, really good now if we go back here again remember it says to to get into the admin area you have to have this WP stroke admin bit there so if I click on that it's going to take me through to the behind the scenes of my WordPress so put in admin and then the password Log in, and here we are. This is behind the scenes of your blog, bestworkoutvideos.com. Now, sometimes you'll see here that WordPress is always updating, always fixing bugs, always updating new security, um, constantly updating. So sometimes you'll come in and it will say, please update now. This is the first time you're setting up this site definitely update so just click update because you want the latest version um, so click update and then down here update automatically click that and you're ready basically ready to go now I just want to show you quickly about the um, we talked about themes there we are it's all ready go back to the main dashboard there now it's updated it so the great thing about WordPress is it's just so easy to change themes um, and idea. Here you can see the description we put in. Best workout videos brings you reviews on all the best workouts videos. Uh, yeah, very imaginative. We'll change that, I think. Um, anyway, but I just want to show you how easy it is to manipulate and change WordPress. And that's why it's probably, you know, everyone loves it. I mean, internet mark marketing people just love it. If you click here for on the left hand side for appearance here you've got themes widgets backgrounds header editor if you want to get into HTML you can change things but I wouldn't recommend that just leave things as they are and in plugins which we'll come to later you can find lots of different plugins to, to do lots of whizzy things but if we click on themes it'll, here's the current theme we've got and if you go to here, install themes, um, you can search for the different types of themes by color, uh, by the number of columns, etc. Why don't we have a look at featured? Now these are all free themes. You can go out onto the web and search for other free themes that people have designed. Um, but they're just, you know, hundreds already just here. So you can click through and say, actually, um, I want my theme. So this is the 2010 theme here is the current theme that we've got. Let's, for example, I'm not going to worry too much, say we want, uh, how about this? We can preview it. Let's just click on preview. And you can have a look at it. Anything, oh, do I like that? You know, 
Actually, I'm not sure about the, uh, the dodgy lightning strike there, personally. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's... Yeah, let's go for this moon one just for the for the sake of it. I'm going to change it, but let's have a look at this easel here. Uh, now this has got extra columns here for the left hand and right hand bar. I'd probably go for one that's just got um, a right hand bar, but I just want to show you how easy. So actually, I'm not. I changed my mind. I'm I'm being indecisive here. I'm sorry. Um, what you can do? We'll just search here. And I'm going to go for recently updated. Yeah, this looks beautiful. Look at that. Install. Let's preview that. A magazine one. That looks a bit fun. So I'm going to probably change this. So a magazine there. That looks. That looks like it would be quite nice. So let's just install. Okay. Install now, and then you can preview it, see what it looks looks like. So bestworkoutvideos.com. This is not probably the most appropriate for this, but I'm just demonstrating how easy it is to manipulate the theme. Okay, that looks great. Hit activate. <laughs> okay, and then if we go back here, here's the old theme. Let's just refresh it. Boom! There you go. Best workout videos. So that just goes to uh, um, to show how easy it is to manipulate uh, WordPress. And now we're going to have to um, optimize it, start optimizing it, and changing it so that it it really works for our keyword domain. And we make sure we optimize it so it's search engine friendly. That's a great thing about WordPress is it is search engine friendly but you can make it even more search engine friendly and there's a few tweaks and plugins that I'm going to take you through that you um, need to know about and need to install and we do that all through the dashboard here so I'll take you through um, the dashboard bit by bit so you know what we need to do and what bits we need to change so I'm just going to go off and find a nice theme and then um, we'll come back and I'll take you through how we can do some of the back end work that we need to to make sure that the blog is going to be ready and optimized for us to start posting. So bear me one moment as I find a nice theme and then I'll come back to you.